LRV1. Now this is one Seagate portable hard drive data recovery case. And this case is from one China PC user. And we can see that this portable hard drive uh, contains one SATA LM hard drive. And this is the actual SATA drive contained inside this portable drive. And we can see that it's the ST2000LM007, and the firmware version is EB01. And we can see that uh, after we extract the SATA drive from the portable enclosure, and we can see it's actually one SATA drive. So we need to connect this pension SATA drive to the DFL SRP Seagate firmware repair hardware, and then we enter the DFL Seagate hard drive firmware repair software. After that, we need to back up the ROM here, and then we need to uh, back up the SYS files here. After that, we can come here to clear the genius, to clear smart, and then uh, we need to check the entries inside the entry list. After that, we go to regenerate the translator. Now, uh, we can see after we regenerate the translator, and we can also need to check the uh, middle catch. Here in the DFSC gate from repair uh, software, we have one function uh, called clear middle catch. So it's, it's just one simple click to fix this issue. So we simply click clear middle catch, and we can also come here, defects management, and here we have one menu called initialize ID in ATM mode. So we can also do this one to fix this issue. Now let's check uh, the data error. Now this is data error. We check the ending part, ending part of the LBA. Now we try to scan, so we can see that all the lost data has been uh, recovered successfully. So this is one very uh, easy case. If users have the DFL Seagate hard drive from repair hardware and also the DFL DDP data recovery too. Thank you.